Yeah, but his rhetoric between January 20th of last year and last night really was looking less at the realistic challenges in the world and more at his hope for what would happen in the world. And I think he came to recognize the reality on Christmas Day. So we are at war. The president has to show the resolve to fight this terror th threat that we face all around the world, and we've got to deal with it together. I don't think it's a partisan issue. I don't practice Can partisan politics when it comes to national security. There is plenty of opportunity for us to practice partisan politics mm -hmm. in the domestic debate, but let's protect America I, and let's help the president protect I know protect you may America. not, but your party, the Republican Party, is practicing a great deal of partisanship. And Jim Mikoshevsky at the Pentagon, who you know is a great reporter, uh, pointed out yesterday that when it comes to al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, AQAP, that it has been the Obama administration, not the Bush administration, who has been stronger on that, including launching a missile attack on December 17th, just a week and one day before uh, this attempted uh, Christmas Day bombing, that it's the Obama administration that has is going to ramp up aid to Yemen, that it is the Obama administration that is getting us no, out of Iraq no, no, and moving no, to Afghanistan. You're, doing, so, you're, tr yeah. you're trying to feed the partisan debate, and that's not good. In fact, the Bush administration did an awful lot to work to try to bring Yemen into a responsible posture. Remember, it was the, the attack on the coal happened in Yemen. The Bush administration did an awful lot to fight that, to change the nature of the leadership in Yemen and try to bring some order to that country, which is a strange and difficult country. And yes, we've known for a long time that it's a place that harbors terrorists, and we've been trying to address that. So I think both the Bush administration and the Obama administration recognize the challenge in, in Yemen. But it's a different world today than it was even six months ago. And what President I'm just Obama to is right to call us to, to a higher responsibility to work together to fight this terrorist threat. That doesn't mean that he's done it all right. It doesn't mean that the Bush administration did it all wrong. Uh, but I can tell you, we've got to pull together right now, and I hope that Congress will be brought into the loop, that, that they will not practice partisan politics around this, but instead that both parties will recognize their responsibility to oversee what is happening in the administration, and the administration will recognize that we are at war. He has to find the resolve to fight this war, and let's give him a chance to do it. But I would say, take a look at the I, problems that exist just, and fix them. Well, I'm just addressing, because you say this administration has got to recognize that we're at war, and you sound like the former Vice President Dick Cheney, who said that the President's trying to pretend we're not at war, and by offering what the, the missile attacks uh, in Yemen, the increase in aid, the fact that John Brennan had been there and visited, to suggest that they were not thinking about this. In fact, they were focused I on didn't, Yemen. Nora, I did not say that. I said okay. the rhetoric that the President offered over the course of the last year, or on 11 months, really did not reflect the reality in the world. His rhetoric last night reflected more of that reality, and I'm glad that he did. He showed the resolve last night. Right. My sense is that just because there's been so much focus on health care and jobs in the economy, there is a sense out there that the president maybe was not talking about terrorism as much as perhaps Bush spent time talking about terrorism, and that may be why there's this disconnect. But Andy, stick around. I want to talk to you, too, about politics. Uh, you're very okay, smart no. about all that in the 2010 midterm election, so stand by. We've got some other news we want to get to. And first, Senate Majority Leader Harry